my team, our class, participated in the first LEGO League competition and the uh, robot game today. I was one of the members who helped with the innovation project, who uh, took part in making the presentation and uh, was a part of the skit we made for the uh, innovation project. The missions were coded by me. The whole team helped, but it was mainly just two of our coders right there. They put in lots of hard work, effort. We're really happy with what we got at the end. We got a total score of 175. So like we got 100 points more and we were all at the first round, we got only 60 points and the robot wouldn't move or do any admissions. And we just started getting really stressed out. But then on our second time when we came back in, uh, we got 135 points. We were all so happy that we finally got the robot to work and we were finally all had some hope that we might actually move on. This is a championship for our first LEGO League. To get here, both teams had to compete with several teams around the city. Both of our teams from staff or from the STEM school qualified and made it here. These kids have worked so hard every single day. I love seeing the teams, their excitement. Both of our teams, very inclusive teams, and they encourage each other. All these teams have worked hard to get to this point. Uh, so it's good to see that, you know, things pay off. Uh, and I know I, I've seen firsthand uh, what Nasivers has done with these teams. So I'm, I'm happy to support. I'm really glad to see how far they've come. And we did really well today. We all had fun. So first of all, our code was a little bit messed up. So we had a few discomforts and we were kind of tense. But our coders, we figured it out and we won. It's like a great learning experience because it's really cool to work with all these robots, building them, coding them. There are some struggles sometimes, like this time we couldn't put in the input, like if we changed something it wouldn't change. It was good knowing how to fix problems. So it's also a great experience knowing how to code now. I know how to code really well compared to what I just started, which will allow me to use this in a later time. Robotics is something we all love. We all love building, coding, and making new things and solving problems. And so I enjoy how much fun we have and all the friendships we've made through this. I love how much fun we've had along the way. Our coach has set up pizza parties, gone to the airport. We saw planes and everything. But yeah, it's definitely the bonding and the friendship that we made along the way. I know for me, like, it's always nice to know that someone is supporting you, so I try to support my um, teammates as much as I can by coming to their events and cheering for them. If we support the team, then the team might win and they'd be happy. And I am very happy to support them because uh, that's the most I can do. If you're part of a team, the main thing that's important is to share your ideas and maybe that might help. Don't stress out as much because like everything in the end is going to happen and I personally well do stress out as well. So like we should all just take, take it slow and take it chill. I like to say that like if you're a starting team that if you really want to go well you have to work really hard. Hard work is an important part of working on the FLL because even though we're a first time team we worked hard and we got to this stage and we're hoping to move on. I'm very grateful to the kids for their hard work, for their parents and their patients and their support throughout this entire season. To our principal, Ms. Liang, Ms. Roberts, who is the director of our program. We have been working on, the, on robotics, Mr. Hong. Uh, we have Coach Byron and absolutely Dr. Bostic, who is the biggest supporter. We have a solid team of several coaches throughout the district. It's not just the STEM, it's the elementary, the middle school, the high school, and that makes me super excited to be part of it.